everyone! Welcome to Eat Me Recipes! Today I'll be showing you how to make the South African fish curry. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below and there you will also find a link for the full written step-by-step -step recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za Firstly, you want to bring out the fish. For this recipe, I'm using Cape Salmon. You can keep them whole or you can cut them up into smaller pieces. Give them all a rinse and set aside. You can click on the video up here if you want to see my older video where I used angelfish. Next you want to bring out the tamarind, also known as puli or imli. This can be found at your local spice stores. Go ahead and place some of the tamarind into a bowl. As you can see, it's of a thick pasty texture. To the tamarind, pour in warm water. Next, you want to use your fingertips and smash the tamarind. This will allow it to be diluted in the water. This does take some time, but be patient with it. Once done, you should have a brownish colored water. Thereafter, you want to bring out another bowl. Place a mesh strainer over the bowl. Now you want to pour the tamarind water through the strainer. This process will get rid of the excess pulp that may have been left over in the water. Now you want to set this aside until ready to use. Next you want to peel and sliver an onion. Rinse and slit the green chilies. Peel up some cloves of garlic. This can be chopped up into smaller pieces or you can use them whole. Next the tomatoes can be blended or grated. I personally prefer them grated. It gives the curry a much smoother gravy. Simply cut the tomatoes in halves. And use the finer side of the grater and grate the inner flesh of the tomatoes into a bowl. Be sure to discard off the peel. Once all the tomatoes have been grated, set them aside. To a pot on medium heat, add in the vegetable oil. Thereafter, add in the onions. Add in the garlic. Green chilies. Curry leaves. And mustard seeds. Mix everything well. Allow it to saute until the onions are translucent. Once the onions have become translucent, add in garam masala, cumin or jeera powder, turmeric powder, chili powder or masala, and ginger and garlic paste. Give everything a good mix.
Allow it to simmer for about 30 seconds. Thereafter, add in the grated tomatoes and tomato paste. Mix well until the tomatoes are infused with the spices. Cover with the lid and allow the tomatoes to cook for about 10 minutes or until the oil surfaces. After 10 minutes, give it a quick stir. You will notice how thick the tomatoes have gotten. Now it's time to add in the tamarind water. Mix that up well. Cover and allow it to cook for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, give it a quick stir. At this point, the distinct aroma of the fish curry should fill your kitchen due to the tamarind. Next, you want to add in the fish. Add salt to taste. Mix until the fish is coated in the gravy. Cover and allow the fish to cook for 15 minutes. Once the fish has cooked, you will notice how the oil surfaces once again. Turn off the heat and give it a gentle stir. Thereafter, you can remove it from the heat and plate. Garnish with freshly chopped coriander or dhania. Serve the South African fish curry whilst hot with rice, bread, roti or stiff pup, which is also known as kali or sangeti. I personally love having this fish curry with kali and I honestly can't have it any other way thanks to my grandmother. Let me know in the comments what you prefer having this curry with. And also take note that this curry tastes much better the next day as the flavors get soaked into the fish. But yes, it can still be enjoyed the same day it was prepared. Enjoy and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more recipes. Just a quick reminder, the quantities are in the description box below and there you will also find the direct link for the full written recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za.
I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also drop some recipe requests in the comment section and I will try to do those recipes as soon as I can. Enjoy!